Hey guys, what is going on? This is iApple Geek, and Apple has just released iOS 11. Everybody thinks iOS 11 is a great update. It improves on everything that iOS 10 currently does. However, there is one major feature that is just not quite developed yet, and that is battery life. The battery life on iOS 11 really sucks. I mean, even worse than iOS 10. So in this video, I'm gonna help you guys out by showing you guys some tips, tricks on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that will help you improve iOS 11 battery life. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first things first, inside of settings, that Bluetooth does not turn off when you turn it off if that makes any sense. So if I go into settings and I turn on Bluetooth, and if I exit out, I swipe up in control center, you can see that Bluetooth is on. Now if I turn this off, it just says not connected. Bluetooth is not actually off. So it's still scanning in the background and it's still enabled. And you can see that when you go into settings, it says Bluetooth not connected. And when you tap on that, it's still on. So the only way to fully turn off Bluetooth is to turn on airplane mode or to come into settings manually and switch off of Bluetooth. Next up, if you have an iPhone, cellular now includes some new options moved from the phone tab in iOS 10. So inside of Wi-Fi calling, go ahead and turn this off if you do not use this. If you're on a bad Wi-Fi network and your phone's just trying to connect, it'll be struggling. Now scrolling all the way down here in the cellular tab, go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi Assist because this will use up battery when you're on a bad Wi-Fi network and your phone compensates by switching to LTE. Okay, so the next one here is in the notifications. Now this is a big one because in here, the apps that you do not use will eat up your battery life if you have them currently turned on. So for example, I don't use the home app at all, but it's always in the background scanning for notifications. So I'm gonna turn that off. Next up inside of the wallpaper settings, tap on the wallpaper and make sure it's set on still and not perspective. Next up inside of Siri and search, in iOS 11, Siri has extended capabilities when it comes to reaching across to every application you have on your device. Now, that can take up some battery life, so you wanna go through here and disable stuff. You don't want Siri scanning, that way Siri's not always stalking you. Now in iOS 11, the auto brightness function has been moved out of the traditional display and brightness tab. So you have to go to general, accessibility, display accommodations, and here is auto brightness. I recommend turning this off because this doesn't really help. I mean, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's more of a hit and miss, especially on older devices. So just turn it off if you want some extra juice. It's not that hard to swipe up and go like this. Also in accessibility settings, you can turn on reduce motion and increase contrast, which will help a little bit. And if you don't like vibrations from your device, you can turn it off here. So no notifications will ever give you a vibration, which in turn will save some battery life. And of course here, in the battery section of your device, you do have the option for low power mode. In here, you can also see which apps are taking up the most battery and try to work on using those apps less and less. That will obviously improve your battery life. And for some devices, you will get a tab saying battery life suggestions. Apple will give you suggestions based on your current battery life. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Next up inside of privacy, go to location services and in here, turn off everything that you don't want tracking you. Like for example, Best Buy, anything with an always is going to drain your battery life like a leech on a pig. I mean, it is not good. So set it to while using the app or never, depending on what app, of course, and keep scrolling down here into system services and turn off everything like compass calibration or home kit, things like cell network search or emergency SOS, find my iPhone, definitely keep it on. But if you have like ads or setting time zone, share my location, Wi-Fi networking, those type of things don't need to access your location because they can usually find out where you are by the IP address on your Wi-Fi. So you don't need a separate process tracking where you are. And also significant locations. This just has been renamed from frequent locations in iOS 10 where your device is 
track him literally everywhere you go and it's kind of creepy so definitely turn this off if this was on you'll be able to see the locations is saved and you can clear it from here and product improvement things like iphone analytics or if you don't use the popular apps near me turn these off to save some extra juice okay scrolling back i'm gonna scroll all the way down in the privacy tab here in motion and fitness you can turn off fitness tracking so your iphone doesn't track how many steps you take in a day and also here in analytics you can turn off share iphone analytics and also in advertising turn on limit ad tracking that way applications are not tracking your online activity and scrolling back to the main panel in iTunes and App Store turn off automatic downloads this will definitely take off a lot of battery video autoplay definitely or you can set it to Wi-Fi only it depends on your preferences and turn off this option offload unused apps this will basically automatically delete your applications that you don't use it'll still keep your information and you can choose that any time to re-download it back but it's an extra process that your phone has to handle and I just recommend keeping this off okay scrolling back up to settings in general if you don't use the handoff feature where you like start a project on your device or your Mac and it'll transfer over to the other device if you don't use this feature you can turn this off and it will help you save some battery life and scrolling down the obvious one is background app refresh turn this off even though there are a couple new options for it you should still keep this option off and one last tip I want to share with you guys in this video is going to general accessibility go to display accommodations and this is where the reduce white point option has been moved to so go ahead and turn this on. This is basically allowing you to darken the whiteness of iOS. And you can use this on top of adjusting your brightness to lower your brightness to something much lower than you normally can. But anyways guys, that is all I have for now on iOS 11. I do have a lot of iPhone 8 stuff coming up, so be sure to subscribe for that. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. That's where I'll be posting a ton of updates about Apple, about the channel, about what's going on. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.